Namecheap website builder tutorial. Hey guys, welcome to a Namecheap tutorial in which I will be showing you how to create a website using Namecheap. Um, Namecheap website builder is super easy, beginner friendly, and you'll be up and running in no time. Because with this site maker, it helps individuals and small businesses create professional websites quickly and without coding so if you are not familiar with coding and want to create a professional website then this video is for you don't skip and watch it till the end well let's get into the process you're gonna simply go to namecheap.com and you can simply search for namecheap website builder and you'll land on this website right here now with this site maker you'll actually have to choose a plan so we have a personal site maker, business site maker, and the other one. All of them are available for the free trial for 14 days. Uh, with all of these platforms, you'll be getting your domains up and running. You'll be able to get different themes, customization, and much more. So you're going to click on try it out for free, or you can sign up uh, for a monthly or yearly plan here. Um, you can even see that uh, with the yearly or monthly plan, both of them are available for a free trial. So once you create an account and you're good, you will land right here. Now, this is my dashboard and we're going to get started and we're going to get straight into creating a website. So the first thing is you will add your email address. And the second step is going to be what are your website goals? Now, this is where you can select what your website is going to do. So I will be actually creating a simple blog website. So I'm going to click on continue. Tell us a bit about yourself. Now, this is just a simple, you know, details that we need to add. After adding the personal detail, now we are going to select our template. This is an important part. You can select any type of template. And these are some of the layouts. If you want to check it out, you can just simply, uh, you know, check it from here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a very simple one. And I think the first one is pretty basic what I'm looking for. And they're actually giving me the templates for a blog. Now I'm going to click on continue. Uh, we will select a color scheme for our website and I will be going for, um, you can see we have this simple color palettes. I just want to go for this blue. Okay, this is perfect. I'm going to click on continue. Now you can see this is the preview of my website that we are going for. It's so easy to create a website. All you have to do is what I'm doing right now. You have to just select according to your needs. So it's not even like that you have to do a lot. There's no coding involved here. You just give your words and you get your you know website. So here we have the font that we can select. So here again, keep, keep your eyes on the preview here. Um, so that you know what it will look like. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. I think this one looks pretty good. Click on continue. Now we're going to be adding the road to going live. Fill out the content in each section before publishing. Now, this is my header. You can see this is the hero part if I select the header. Now this is what it will show me. I can add a link here. I can edit it out. I can add a link or scroll block. So I'm going to click on add. And we can even add a name here and we can even edit the website. So this is the hero part of my website. If I want to make it bigger, actually, this is what it looks like. So now we will customize it completely. It's not too professional looking. It's very basic. So what we will do is we will change it. Now, the title, they actually created this kind of like a simple website from the detail I gave them. The title for my blog let's say is how to guide this is what we do we kind of like create these type of blogs now let's say that my uh, blog website is kind of like so i am adding some of the details here according to my website um okay then we have our subheading this is the subheading here i'm going to change it as well uh, i have just added some of the text here call to action now this is where you can see a button which is which says get started now so because it's a blog for me, I actually go for subscribe because we have um, our newsletters. So I want people to subscribe. So I'm just going to go over subscribe now. Perfect. The button link. Now, this is where I will be adding my email because we do the newsletters. So I want to drive my, my blog uh, viewers and, and I want to drive my readers to subscribe to my newsletter. So I'm going to add the email here. We can even add the socials at the bottom here. If you have any social, let's say you have YouTube or if you have Instagram or you have like Pinterest, you can add it here and it will be added in this way. 
Uh, you can even uh, add the logos if you like. Now, this is kind of the, the main part and we can add a picture too. So if you want a picture on your header, on your main part here on the website, you can go for that. This is the theme. So you can see we have selected the template one. If we go to the font here, we can actually edit any time what color scheme we want or what font or theme that we already selected. If you want to change it, you can. Um, for now, this is what it looks like. You can see I have made a very basic, uh, you know, blog website for myself. I'm going to click on continue. So we have done the header, we have done the hero, and now it's time to do the footer. So I'm going to select the footer here. Now this you can see at the bottom, we have the footer. Now um, I can add another link here. So in this link, we actually add the socials most of the time in, in the footer. If you don't want to go for the header, you don't want to add the socials here, you can add it at the bottom here, you just add the link, web address, for example, you want to add Instagram, you can add it here. Um, similarly, here you will also add your copyright um, of your blog or your website. Click on continue and now you can see we have header, hero and footer done. Now we have add more content. If I click right here, it will allow me to add content to this page. For example, we have projects, work experience, free form, skills, frequently asked questions, create a new page, add an integration. I'm going to click on create a new page for my website. And this is where, let's say I upload my blogs. So I'm just going to click on blogs again, click on add page and it will be added. This is the new page. So there again, uh, the uh, customization is going to be similar. Click on continue and it will take you to editor where you can edit your new page. See the title. So let's say these are the tests blog that I create. Again, the name, we're going to go for the same name as we have for the website because we create how to blogs. So we have how to guide and I can add a picture here. Click on continue. And now you can see we have a new page. Click on add more content here. I'll teach you how to add an integration. Click on add integration uh, integrations. We have Google Analytics available, MailChimp, Google Tag Manager, Meta. Meta is important nowadays. And then we have Drift and more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Meta Pixels. I will go to my events manager, select the pixel, click continue, select and paste here. So all I have to do is follow these steps, get my link, paste here, click on save. And this integration will be added to my website. Similarly, we have the Google Analytics here. I can uh, add this one. We also have the um, SiteMaker Analytics, this Namecheap um, Analytics here that I will show you in a minute. So at the top, we can see we have the editor. At the top here, we have the editor, integrations and analytics. I'm going to go to the editor here and you can see uh, now I can even add projects and testimonial. Now, this is really good for your portfolio websites. We have the project work experience and clients as well or contact form. Now, this is very good for someone who creates, um, you know, landing pages. We have the contact forms here. So uh, once you have edited everything and you're happy with your, your website, you're happy with your header, hero or footer, again, there are so many things that you can add. You can add pictures. You can add more text, you can change the font, you can change the theme here. Click on publish your website and now uh, it's time to uh, give uh, our website a home. This is where it's very easy for us to add a domain because Namecheap has its own domains and we can do the hosting through Namecheap. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for a domain name. Here we can go for howtoguides.contact.design site or online. So I'm gonna go for online here. Click on continue with the domain. You can see we now even have a domain. Click on continue. And this is where I will get my total of the pricing. This is the domain because I got a domain from Namecheap. If you already have a domain, then you will not get a checkout here. And you can, for example, if I go back and I say I already had an existing domain, I can connect it here and then I don't need to then um, do this step. Uh, if you are on trial, you can also go here and you can get a trial for your uh, pricing too. So now I'm going to quickly go ahead and show you the website that we just created. There you have it. You can see this is the basic website blog that I created with Namecheap. Uh, you can add more pictures here. You can add buttons and customize your own website without coding. This is the best part about Namecheap and also I did it with the free trial. So you can go ahead and check it out right now. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope this video was a big help to you. And now you know how to build a website with Namecheap.
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to YouTube channel.